What's up, bitches? It's is Silent Rob. Uh, I just want to get on here and talk for a little while about some things that I've missed um, since I've been gone. Um, stuff game-related, stuff computer-related. Uh, first thing I wanted to cover was the total failure known as Halo ODST, or Halo WGEM, worst game ever made. Um, this three-hour mission pack... Um, literally, it's $20 an hour to play this game. It's $60, and it's three hours to finish this fucking thing. My brother got it at 9 o'clock, and I shit you not, beat it at noon. He was done at noon. And ended up trading in about 1 o'clock. So it was overall about a four-hour experience. Um, I guarantee the fucking Halo designers at Bungie are playing Modern Warfare 2 right now, crying themselves to sleep as they play it. Don't fucking even tell me. That game, I mean... See, because I compare Modern Warfare 2 to eating a steak dinner with all the trimmings while a hot-ass bitch sucks your fucking dick. Halo ODST, on the other hand, I compare it to eating a Jell-O pudding pop and getting raped by Bill Cosby. It's pretty damn close, okay? It's pretty damn close. You, nobody, even the Halo fanatics that I know fucking say this game sucks. And all the glowing reviews that I've read on it, everything, it, you cannot possibly even imagine how fucking pissed off I am. I mean, because I even gave it an honest to God shot. Who the fuck wants to play a Halo game where you're fucking, you're Lester Chief? You're fucking, you're the retarded cousin. You, you, who wants to be underpowered? Who wants to hide from everything? When, when you play a Halo, you want to be superpowered. You want to be Master Chief, okay? You don't want to be Master Queef, who can't get hit but three fucking times before he's dead, okay? Nobody wants to fucking do that shit. The, the regenerating health thing was better. They improved upon that. Okay, there's, there's a reason why Halo 1 isn't as good as the other games now, because they made the improvements. But let's go back and take away all the improvements, and then make it worse. It makes no sense to me. Next thing I want to talk about is Mega Man 10. As you can probably guess, I'm pretty fucking excited about this. Now, excited is an understatement. My dick is so hard, it could cut diamonds, okay? Don't even fucking get me started. Everybody's talking about, oh, Final Fantasy thirteen, oh, Final Fantasy thirteen. Okay, I, I'm fucking, on a scale from 1 to 10, how excited I am about fucking Final Fantasy thirteen. it's about a 10, okay? For Mega Man 10, it's like a 50. It's a 69, bitches, okay? I'm fucking psyched for this shit. Um, the only thing I want them to improve upon from 9, um... I want, I want them to make it a little bit harder. I actually thought Mega Man 9 wasn't really that difficult. And I want them to uh, make the Wily Castle be a little bit harder than it was. And maybe even possibly put in a second Wily Castle. Um, and also make Wily at the end a little bit cooler. He only had, like, really one form. Like, I was I was expecting something, like, awesome, like the alien from 2 or, like, the big robot from 3. But, uh, I mean, it was adequate. But Mega Man 9 was awesome, so I'm really looking forward to 10. I also want to talk about the PS3 Slim. I have one, as you can probably have already guessed. Uh, I'll show it to you. There it is. Uh, it hasn't really gotten much play yet. Um, I haven't really had any time with my new job to really do anything with it. But uh, it's pretty awesome. It's really fucking quiet. And I like the buttons on it. Um, I like how small it is. It's like a lot smaller than the fucking other one. Um, the other one took up my entire fucking table in half my room, so, you know, compared to that, um, you know, this is an improvement. Okay, I drive a fucking Cadillac, and the thing's bigger than my Cadillac. So, anything is a fucking improvement over the last PS3. Also want to talk about Windows 7. I also have Windows 7. I got it for free. Um, uh, it was sent to me. So, um, a lot of people want to know my review on Windows 7, a.k.a. Good Vista. Um, and that's pretty much what I would call it, Good Vista. Or what Vista should have been in the fucking first place. Everybody's all psyched. I see these Windows commercials saying, Oh man, you gotta buy this. It's badass. You won't, you know, like, yeah, we heard that with Vista, okay? We should have already had this operating system fucking five years ago. So, I mean, I, I'm not excited about it. I'm, I'm just long over fucking due, okay? You're, you're talking about, you know, you, you have like a library book out for 15 years, and then when you finally return it, um, you expect the librarian to jump up and down and fucking suck your dick? No, she's gonna fucking be like, it's about goddamn time, okay? What the fuck? I mean, Jesus Christ. I, I, you had XP for, like, fucking ten years and shit, and then you have Vista, and it completely fucking sucks. And now we have a fucking operating system that's finally up to par. Okay, I wouldn't even say it's as good as XP. I would say it's up to par. 
Uh, I still dual boot um, XP and Windows 7 uh, just in case. Uh, you can never be too careful with Windows operating systems. Uh, I mean, I've had my fair share of problems with Windows 7 too. It's not completely perfect. I still can't get my PS3 controller to work on it. Um, so I pretty much, you know, I'm on XP right now actually. So, I mean, it's it's adequate. Um, the last thing I want to talk about uh, was Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I touched upon it a little bit earlier in this video, but I really want to touch upon it. It's awesome. Uh, I knew it was going to be awesome. Not a big surprise to me. It is awesome. It's not really the evolution in gaming everybody's trying to make it out to be, um, but it's really good. Uh, they, they took out a lot of things from World of War that I was kind of surprised about. Uh, I really wish they had you know, put in a zombie mode, and a lot of people are saying you can't put in a zombie mode, you know, it's World War's thing, blah, 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 but it doesn't really have a mode that's like zombie mode, okay, so that's cool, you know, take out zombie mode, but at least put something in that's like zombie mode, um, they, they said the spe they, they were hyping up special ops and how cool special ops were going to be, but the thing is, once you beat special ops, you're pretty much done with it, I mean, it's cool to, you know, kind of knock off a couple seconds here and there, but it's not as competitive as the multiplayer, and it's not as addictive as zombie mode in World of War. So, I mean, it's cool that I can still go back and play World of War, you know, for the zombies and stuff, but it was kind of stupid that they took it out. I was also disappointed that they took out the blood and gore from World of War. I mean, it's still kind of in there, and they, they touch upon some kind of, you know, mean-spirited stuff, like the terrorist, um, being the terrorist in the airport this, uh, thing that was in Modern Warfare 2. But um, I felt War to War was more visceral, and when you shoot somebody in, in War to War, it, it felt better than it did in Modern Warfare 2 to me. Um, I don't know, like it, it just felt more visceral, it felt like a war situation. And it's still stupid to shoot somebody in the head and not have the head explode. I mean, didn't Gears of War pretty much clear that up? I mean, if I fucking shoot you with a sniper rifle point blank range in the face, you're not just going to fucking fall down and be like, ugh! No, your fucking head's gonna explode in a million fucking pieces, okay? And you're gonna fucking, you're not even gonna know you're dead when you're dead. You're just gonna die. It's gonna be over. There's gonna be brains and skull and shit and puke everywhere. You're not just gonna fucking fall over. That's so stupid to me. That and the fact that I hate when bodies, the bodies disappear after a while. Like, I've always hated that. I think when you have a fucking massive war... The, bo the body should stay there on the ground, along with the blood, along with the gore, you know, because it's, it's a battle zone, you know what I mean? You got these fucking clean-ass battle zones, like Martha Stewart's going around cleaning up these dead bodies or something. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Um, so, you know, up the gore factor. This is war. Uh, you're you're going to touch upon all this grueling stuff. It's going to be, you know, controversial and shit, but you, you still have fucking ragdoll, falling over, bullshit, with no fucking blood and gore, um, I mean, if you're going to go all out and have a mature rating, go all out and have a mature rating. Quit being pussies. But that's pretty much all I want to talk about. Um, video game reviews are on the way. Stay tuned.